<laughs> because you know what? What I say don't mean nothing anyway. It's what God says. Now, we're going to judge them that are within. <clears throat> How can I judge the church if I can't judge those that are within? How am I going to do I'm going to use the word. Now, Matthew, Matthew 16 and 18. Now, as I said earlier, that the judge has the authority, yes. hallelujah, to judge. Yes. This is what Jesus said in Matthew 16 and 18. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. In other words, Peter, what you make law is going to be law. Amen. He had the authority. God gave him and the ministry the authority to judge the people. Praise the Lord. Amen. To make it law. And you know what? You got some people got the audacity to say, well, uh, you, you say we got to do this, and you can say we got to do that. Well, God gave the ministry the authority. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <coughs> the state of Tennessee gives the judges the authority to execute judgment. Praise the Lord. Now, he was given the authority. Peter was. Who gave him that authority? The Lord did. Whenever that you have laws, our police, and I thank God for our police. Now, there was a couple of aldermen that wanted to get rid of the police here not too long ago, which that fell through. But I thank God for our police. Amen. I'm not saying they always do the right thing, and I'm not saying this, but they are the law. And they protect us sometimes from the bad people. But they have the authority to do that. Peter had the authority <clears throat> to bind law on earth. <clears throat> and whenever that he said, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of uh, Holy Ghost, do you know what he did? He made that law. Yeah. And we got to obey the law. All right. Matthew 18 and 16. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word no. may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and, and a publican. Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Listen. God has given the church, the ministry, the authority to judge. How in the world can you preach to people if you don't judge. But as I said, 
We are in a new woke society until they say, you're not supposed to judge me. Well, what happens is, is they don't want their sin exposed. Hallelujah. Listen to it. Hebrews. Hebrews 13 and 17. Obey them. I was talking to a man yesterday. And he's come to church here before. And he told me, he said, Rodale, he said, I think I finally found out what God wants me to do. And I said, is that right? Okay. He said, yeah. And I said, well, that's good. I said, or, where are you going to church? <laughs> oh, he wasn't going to church. And I said, well, now, let me tell you. The Bible says to not forsake the assembling of yourselves together. Amen. So if we're not obeying the Word of God and the law, then we're not doing what God said for us to do. And here is another scripture that we must do. Obey them. You know what? It's hard for people to obey. It's hard. Let's do it. I don't mean, I'm not trying to throw nothing to nobody. But it's hard uh, when a man and woman gets married the woman gives her vows that she's going to obey. But you know what? They're trying to take that out. Obey. Yeah. <laughs> now, uh -huh. obey them that have the rule over you. Yes. That's the ministry. Yes. That's the ministry. And submit yourself, for they watch for your soul. As they that must give an account, that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Do you know how many times... Uh, that the pastor, the pastor's wife, how much time that they have laid in the bed and prayed and worried about people, about the church. Hey, you know what? They got to give an account. I got to give an account for every soul that's in this church. Yes. God's going to hold me accountable. And if I don't preach the word, God's going to hold me. In the book of Ezekiel, God said the watchman, if the watchman don't warn the wicked, from his evil ways, then his blood am I going to require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked, then his blood will be upon his own hand. Praise the Lord. Now obey them and have the rule over you.